Welcome to the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library at Mississippi State University's Mitchell Memorial Library. MSU is proud to be one of six universities in the nation that serves as a Presidential Library host site. We're also honored to be the recipient of the Frank and Virginia Williams Collection of Lincolniana, showcased in its own gallery in this beautiful new facility. This video provides an overview of the U.S. Grant Association, the Presidential Library, and the Williams Collection. As part of the Civil War Centennial in 1962, the Ulysses S. Grant Association began the meticulous process of collecting copies of documents about Grant for the purpose of publication. Over the decades, the collection grew to include over 5,000 books, as well as copies of every known letter written by or to Grant, photographs, artifacts, and other one-of-a-kind memorabilia pertaining to Grant, the Civil War, and the 19th century. The collection consists of over 15,000 linear feet of materials. The mission of the Grant Association is to conduct research into Grant's life and preserve the knowledge of his importance in American history. The Ulysses S. Grant Association is here at Mississippi State to be sure that Americans as a whole understand the importance of Ulysses S. Grant in the history of the United States. He was, in fact, the first of the modern American presidents. The association, in partnership with MSU's Mitchell Memorial Library, is editing and publishing Grant's writings, both in hardcover and digital formats, acquiring and preserving artifacts from his lifetime, and making this material available to scholars and the public. In 2008, the association established a new home for its collection of Grant materials at MSU, and in 2012, created a presidential library honoring the 18th president. The partnership between MSU and the Grant Association didn't develop by accident. Former Rhode Island Supreme Court Chief Justice Frank J. Williams, the longtime association president, led efforts to relocate the organization and its archives to MSU. Williams confirmed his belief that MSU was the appropriate host after talking with MSU's longtime dean of libraries, Francis N. Coleman. The support of the staff, the library dean, President Keenum, and two interim presidents before him I think is proof positive of this university's support. When the Grant Association was seeking new leadership after the death of longtime executive director and managing editor John Y. Simon in 2008, the organization hired distinguished MSU historian and author John F. Marsalek as executive director and managing editor. Simon and his team of editors had completed 31 chronological volumes of the papers of Ulysses S. Grant at the time of Simon's death, leaving Marzalek and the new team of editors at MSU to complete a 30-second supplemental volume and a scholarly edition of the personal memoirs of Ulysses S. Grant. The ultimate success of the Grant Association's partnership with Mississippi State University hinged on the vision of the university's 19th president, Mark E. Keenum, and Dean Coleman. Keenum saw the academic symmetry of developing the university as a unique vantage point from which to study perhaps the most complex event in American history, the Civil War and its aftermath. When asked by the Chicago Tribune in 2009 whether he saw irony in the papers of the Union General and 18th President being hosted by a Mississippi University, Keenum said, Perhaps no state did more to advance and propel the career of Ulysses S. Grant than did Mississippi. So no, I didn't find anything unusual about our university hosting this important historical collection. The final key component in the evolution of the Grant Presidential Library was the leadership of MSU Library's Dean Francis Coleman, assisted by Associate Dean Stephen Canetto. Their remarkable skills in managing and directing a very talented library faculty and staff in absorbing and assimilating the Grant Presidential Library into the broader mission of this large research university library was crucial. This is a wonderful opportunity for our students, for our faculty, and for our researchers uh, to have hands-on and to really look into 
the history of these outstanding individuals. This moves our library program a step further in providing premier research. It was soon evident that with the establishment of a presidential library came the need for a larger, more appropriate venue to display these historical treasures. Dr. Keenum turned to the Mississippi Legislature to secure funding for a $10 million, 21,000 square foot fourth floor expansion of Mitchell Memorial Library to meet that challenge. The expanded facility houses the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library Museum and the Congressional and Political Research Center. The Congressional and Political Research Center provides access to materials from national, state, and local lawmakers, politicians, activists, and researchers. The cornerstones of the center are the papers of MSU alumni Senator John C. Stennis and Congressman G. V. Sonny Montgomery. Other collections include David Bowen, Marsha Blackburn, Chip Pickering, Alan Nunnally, Mike Espy, Steve Holland, Carl Jack Gordon, Amy Tuck, and many others. 2017 saw yet another fantastic opportunity for MSU to assume national prominence as a Center for Civil War Era Study through the generosity of Chief Justice Frank and Virginia Williams. Their gift of the Frank and Virginia Williams Collection of Lincolniana offers historians, scholars, students, and the general public an unprecedented opportunity for nuanced study of the lives and careers of both Grant and Lincoln. By donating their extraordinary Lincolniana collection, the Williams have also helped elevate MSU into a presidential research center. Considered the nation's largest privately owned holding of Lincoln research and display material, as well as the country's most comprehensive privately owned Lincoln and Civil War library, the Frank J. and Virginia Williams collection boasts rare historical memorabilia, priceless artifacts, and books and other materials published over a span of 150 years. The collection is valued at nearly $3 million. Much of it is now on display in the Frank and Virginia Williams collection of Lincolniana Gallery. Visitors will be presented with its depth and scope and can view over 100 of the priceless artifacts. Visitors will discover the context of the era and the complexities of the war years and slavery. Nestled between the historically significant Civil War battlefields at Shiloh and Vicksburg, MSU offers visitors a rare opportunity to connect the historical dots of the factors that led our nation into Civil War and the extraordinary difficulties that blocked the nation's path to reconciliation, difficulties that remain complex today. MSU President Keenum would later reflect on MSU's status as a national center for study of the Civil War and the war's aftermath. Through these landmark academic collections, I would submit that perhaps no university in the nation has done more to bring substantive academic balance to the study of the conditions that led to the American Civil War, the propagation of the war, and the long road of reconstruction and national reunification. Our university offers a unique opportunity for the study of the Civil War, not from the northern or southern perspective, but appropriately from the American perspective. So welcome to the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library in the Frank and Virginia Williams Collection of Lincolniana, where we invite you to share in shaping that vital American perspective.